Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are doing a restoration hardware dupe. We're taking a glass vase that I found at the Goodwill for $3 and we're turning it into a vintage aged vessel. They sell these aged vessels on their website for hundreds of dollars. I'll insert some pictures here so you can see the inspo and the look that we're going for. I'm going to be showing you all the products I'm using, um, the techniques. So if you want to see how you can do this as well and you can turn any basic vase into one of these vintage vessels, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is the vase that I thrift in that we're going to be flipping. So I like the shape of it. That's why I picked it. And I mean, it's not bad. It's just a frosted glass, but you can see there's a lot of scratches and whatnot on the side. So I'm going to do the joint compound and some other stuff to make it look like an aged vessel. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are. We are going to use the joint compound that I used on my last project. I had some leftover from doing the table. And I'm really loving this product. I've been using it on a lot of different projects, so it's super easy to work with. I get the brand Westpac from Home Depot and you find it in the drywall section. It comes pre-mixed and it just makes it a lot easier to work with since you don't have to worry about getting a mixer and how much water to add and whatnot. So we are just going all the way around the vase, giving it a nice thick coat, and I'm trying my best to smooth it out with my fingers. I am wearing gloves to protect my skin because it does dry your skin out quite a bit. I'm going all the way around, just adding a nice thick layer onto the vase to give it some nice stone texture. Now you're gonna wait a probably six to eight hours until it starts to dry and you can work with it so when you wipe it doesn't completely wipe away. So I'm using a damp rag and I'm going around and trying to smooth out any of those extra textured pieces and make it a little bit smoother so it looks like a natural stone finish. Now it's been a full 24 hours and I've let it dry down. So I'm just going again over it with a light sanding. And this is a fine grit sandpaper just to smooth out anything that I couldn't get with the rag. Make sure you wipe it off, get all that dust off there. And again, use a face mask when you're sanding. So now I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Matte Black Paint and Primer Spray Paint, going all the way around and making sure it's nice and covered. All right, so today is the fun day because we are gonna work on the last part of the project. And I went to the craft store last night and I picked up some supplies that I needed. So I'll show you what paint I'm using and the colors, all that fun stuff. So let's get started and get to aging this vessel. This is the vessel painted and I made sure to cover it pretty well. I did miss like tiny bit of spots but that'll be okay because we are going to just paint right over that so I picked up this sponge pack from Michaels and this is an acrylic paint in the color camel these are all matte paints this is a dark gray I think this is espresso no coffee bean and these are just containers for the paint and then I got this matte finish sealer so I've never used this so we'll see how it works and I'll, I'll let you guys know if I recommend that product but I'll link all this in the description box below for you. 
Okay, so we're starting with the aging process. So we are taking a sponge and make sure you get it nice and wet and soak it underwater and squeeze out any excess and dip that into the dark brown paint and go all the way around the entire vase giving it one full layer of that dark brown color. When the sponge is wet, it's nice because it kind of gives it, it waters down the product a little bit so it's not a super thick layer and you can still see the black coming through a bit. So just swipe that across, adding two layers of this. So this is two full layers and now I'm going in with the lighter brown color which is the camel and I'm taking the sponge again, a wet sponge, and stamping that in and swiping it all the way across. Try to avoid under the neck and at the base because you want those areas to be a bit darker so it looks more natural. Okay, so now we are going to take it up a notch and give it some more pattern and texture. So take your sponge and stamp it in and then use a dry paper towel and kind of press that down and swipe it around and that will blend it but also give it some nice random pattern and texture to really make the aged look come through. You want to add dimension, you want to add layers here and just go around randomly, have some fun with it. and. Just keep going until you're happy with where it's at. And last thing you're gonna do is spray it with the acrylic sprayer. I don't, I'm not gonna show it on camera here. Just a little review on that acrylic sprayer. If you don't have a proper mask to wear, a ventilation mask, then I would not recommend this product because the fumes were terrible. I did it outside. I was wearing a face mask, but it wasn't a ventilation mask. And I'm telling you, the fumes were terrible. It smelled awful and I just wouldn't recommend it for that reason. Um, so if you have the proper mask, then go for it because I do like the way that it turned out. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't use this again. Okay, everybody, that wraps up the project. Thank you so much for watching. I love the way that it turned out and I'm excited to show you the finished result. But before that, I just wanna say thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna be posting more content similar to this. So if you enjoyed this type of video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, here is the reveal of the vintage aged vessel. Thank you.